Peace, everybody. It's your boy, Let's Talk. We back with another video. All right, guys, let's dive right into the topic of this video, man. Have y'all seen the rally in Michigan where um, Vice President Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, she got booed. <laughs> she got booed crazy. And um, it's funny because they had Megan Thee Stallion. I mean, I'm sorry, not Megan Thee Stallion. Beyonce. Uh, they had Beyonce out there doing a the performance and all that stuff. And then once she leave, everybody else basically left too. And the ones who stayed, they started booing Kamala. <laughs> and I find this to be interesting because you got so many people who still trying to hold on saying that, you know, she's up in the polls or she's winning or she's loved and, you know, she's this, she's that. And... I'm like, no, that's not real. I think the people now, they they've been starting to see that. I told y'all the whole the honeymoon phase where everyone was just like loving her and you know all the support from from black women, from the divine nines and the AKAs and all that stuff. Like it it, it was only short lived. I'm sure a lot of those people probably still support her, but. The, the most of the majority of people who was like, you know, doing it in the honeymoon phase in the very beginning. Now you got time. Time don't went on. You know, people got a chance to really dig deep into her policies or her not so policies. People got time to actually pay attention to her political track record. People actually got a chance to see what she say or what she don't say. People pay attention that. She barely took interviews, and the interviews that she did take, they were all scripted. And then now, the interview now that she tried not to do scripted interviews, you see that she's crashing out because she been doing, she been getting help all this time. And when she don't get help, you see she she really don't know what the hell she's talking about, you know. And uh, this is what it is. A lot of people are not all the vibes, the identity. People not putting up with that stuff no more. People are like, I'm tired of it. I want to do better. All this stuff that's talking about Trump saying that he's a dictator and, you know, he's not going to, um, he's not going to leave power if he, if he become president again. Listen, if he was doing all that stuff, if he would have did that stuff, then back in 2020, when it was time for him to leave, or 2021, during the inauguration, he wouldn't have left. He left peacefully. So all this talk of y'all saying that he's going to do this and he's going to do that. Like, y'all keep forgetting that he was president already? He was already the president of the United States. He did none of that stuff. The economy was up. It was good. And that's why I was so confused in the beginning. When everybody keep talking about this stuff. Because I'm like, y'all act like he's like some foreign dude who came from like Russia somewhere. And y'all don't know exactly what he's going to do, what he's planning on doing. He, he ain't doing nothing, uh, no, no type of surprise or anything like that. He, I mean, he might do a little bit different than he did before because, you know, times go on, you know, things evolve. But the economy was booming. The economy was good. So for y'all to think that y'all don't, y'all act like y'all don't know exactly what he's going to do, he's going to be like this, this evil dictatorship is beyond sickening to me. But I'm glad that people now, uh, the people who are quiet are now starting to speak up. Because I think that's what it is now. I th you had a lot of people who supported Trump, who understand what's exactly what's going on about the Democrats and everything. But they weren't speaking up because of, of fear for getting criticized, astronauts, uh, people even losing their jobs and they in, in their marriage over this stuff. But now it's to the point where people are like, man, I don't care because I want to do what's right and I want to do what's good for the country and the economy and what's good for my pockets and my family's pockets. And if that means, you know, speaking up telling the truth and saying that Trump is good for the uh, economy, for the nation, rather than being scambler, then that's what it is. <clears throat> so that's where we are right now. Um, as far as our, our current state in this country. And I'm actually proud of it. You know. I'm actually glad 
that people are now starting to see that we've been lied to um, and now people are starting to not care about uh, if you're black or not if you're uh, for this or for that like it's, it's about what's right that's all it is so look we only got a few more days left so I don't know what they're going to do but in my opinion my observation for the things from what I'm saying they're losing by a large amount so I don't know what they can do to change that outcome the only thing I can see now they can do is you know do some shicey stuff as far as like with the polls similar to what you know people were saying back in 2020 so I don't know we just got to wait and see but that's all I got for now guys let me know what y'all think drop your comments down below make sure I hit the like subscribe hit the bell I'll see y'all the next one. Peace.